Hey everyone, welcome back to Body Bags. Uh, we have another random week, so I'd originally had something else planned for this week that's been bumped next week because I just got back from seeing Terrifier 3. And um, <clears throat> I, I, I kind of want to talk about this. <clears throat> so, Terrifier 3. Does it live up to the hype? You know what, I'm going to say, yeah, it does, honestly. I was very pleased with what I saw. Now, what, what do I say? I don't know. You know, elephant in the room first. Were there people being so shocked by the gore and everything that they said they're running out of the theater? No. I didn't see that. None of that, obviously. You know, but what you have here is a definite next rung up the ladder from Terrifier 2. So, the nastiness that you saw in Terrifier 2, you get more of it at a higher level. And, honestly, there's some, uh, there's some pretty uh, unique kills in this one, I gotta say. Uh, as well as some interesting, like, throwbacks to other movies. Like, there's a whole... There's, like, a reference to The Shining at one point. There's a reference to Psycho, which I'll get to. That particular kill is a really good kill. Uh, I saw some Texas Chainsaw, on, uh, you know, in there. Uh, so the basic plot. Five years after the events of Terrifier 2... Uh, our main girl from Terrifier 2... Hello, okay, that was weird. Uh, just stuttered a bit there. I don't know if, it, if, if if you saw it on your end. I don't know, but, you know, is what it is. So, your main character from Terrifier 2. Uh, she has survived everything. It's been five years. She's been in, like, a insane asylum type thing in the, in the pro like preceding years. And Art the Clown has pretty much disappeared. Uh, so has the girl that birthed his head at the end of part two. Uh, five years later, they come back again. It's at Christmas, um, and they just go to town. Now, this movie opens with, like... An axe murder that is quite brutal because of what they don't show. You know, essentially, Art the Clown goes into this room where this kid is. You hear all this noise. He comes out with the axe dripping blood. Goes into the parents' room. Deals with them completely. They are completely, you know... But then, you know, the the mother or whatever, she runs off. She runs into the kid's room to find little pieces of kid everywhere. Honestly, when you have the balls to kill off kids in your movie, that's something special. Because the thing is, there's always, you know, those certain lines which people say, like, you don't cross, you know, like... Terrifier 3 steps over those lines with a plum and just like, like, behold, here I am sort of thing. Um, it's damn good. The gore is top notch. I've said before, um, this, this, like some of my other reviews that I've done, is going to get a dual rating. It's going to get a rating for, a, for gorehounds and it's going to get a rating for normies. So, you know... You've been warned, let's just say that. The gore in this is very over-the-top. It's very, very mean-spirited. I would say this movie is actually more mean-spirited than Part 2. And honestly, I found that... I didn't think you could get more mean-spirited than Part 2, but this one is... It's a step up. Let's just say that. Um, 
acting's good all around. The effects are good. Well, effects are always going to be good in a Terrifier movie. Um, all in all, just a really solid film. So for ratings, for Gorehounds, so people like me, it's a 10 out of 10. It's great. It's top top tier, you know, splatter films. It It is phenomenal. You will enjoy it, no doubt. Now for the now for those normies out there, this one's going to be a tough pill to swallow for some of you, because um, you know there, there's a lot of stuff that the easily offended could definitely be offended by. I'm just going to say there's a scene in a, in, a, in a shopping mall. Part, the clown is handing out some presents, which is, you know, I laughed. A lot of people in the cinema with me laughed, but I could see how some normies would be freaked out by what happens there. So, for the normies, this is gets like a, you know what, it, it gets like a 7 out of 10. You know, it's still a damn good movie. There are some normies who will watch this and will thoroughly enjoy it. I'm sure of it. But the levels of gore, the levels of mean-spirited sadisticness, sadisticness, might put some people off. Just saying. But if that's the case, mm, sucks to be you. Um, <laughs> honestly, if you're going into Terrifier 3, you know what you're getting. Come on. That's it for me. See you next time.